The How Did I Do Golf Academy is back. My name is Sophie Walker and today I'm going to talk you through the difference between a driver swing and an iron swing. There is one major difference, a tack angle, and I'm going to look at that today. But before we get started, make sure you like, you comment and subscribe to our How Did I Do Academy series. Lots of free information to help you get better at golf. As I said at the start of this video, talking attack angles and setup starts that discussion. Now with the driver, it's the longest club in the bag, it's the least lofty club in the bag and 99% of the time you're teeing it up. So things have to change to get that launch to be different than with an iron. I'm going to talk you through the basic setup and why we do it is to get that positive attack angle and to get a high launch for the ball to go high and far. Now first things first is the stance. Best thing to do is put both feet together and with your front foot take a small step and with your back foot take a big step. Like I keep saying, this is the longest club in the bag, a wider stance, get more balance because sometimes it can feel like the driver is swinging you rather than the other way around. As you can see here, that ball position then becomes towards the front. So it's just inside my left heel. In terms of setup, I quite like this strong front side. You can see the left arm going into the shaft like this way and then from here the right shoulder the back shoulder sits under creating some launch patterns we can see there launch it into the air can we get that club into the back of the golf ball to try and get it moving with an upward angle of attack so all this setup is doing is trying to get you in the perfect position to get that launch angle up now the driver is the only club in the bag you should hit with a positive attack angle. That's why the setup is so much different than it is with an iron. So if you're somebody that struggles with a negative angle of attack, you hit down on the golf ball, it gets too spinny. You can either de-loft it or sometimes you slice it. Here's a couple of things to think about. You want to feel like the golf club is at its lowest point on that arc before it hits the golf ball something we don't normally do you know you want to feel like it's lower a couple of inches behind the ball and then it's raising up through it to the point if you're really struggling just feel like you're hitting it off your back foot almost feeling like you're leaning back because i can guarantee if you're hitting it on the down the chances are you're that way so we need a totally different feel and it's all about feeling shallower rather than steeper Everybody wants shallow, don't they? But how do you get that? Well, get yourself an alignment stick and I'm going to show you right now. The alignment stick, just start it outside of the golf ball, put it in at a 45 degree angle, running over the ball like this. And what you're going to try and do is swing inside that and miss it with it going up. If you do happen to swing out to win, and down you're going to crack that alignment stick so you come in at everything from this side that inside path with that upward motion basically the opposite to that line so think about your setup getting that shoulder low even feeling like you're on your back foot and try and miss that alignment stick we launch it with our body through the shot like that that is a really nice way to get rid of that aggressive out to win and downward motion on the golf ball and increase the angle of attack and make yourself slightly more shallow, which is apparently what everybody wants. Now for the iron. Now the chances are, if you're a good driver of the golf ball, you're gonna be watching this part of the video. And if you're a good iron player, you're gonna be watching the driver part of the video. That's because the way you deliver the golf club suits one club rather than the other. I'm more of a driver of the golf ball, so when it comes to irons, I have to think about things a lot differently. It's not that sweeping motion, it's not as shallow, it's more crushing, slightly steeper, 
get those hands in front of the ball and real drive it through the turf and through the sky. So here goes, step by step on how to hit the irons a little bit better and how things change when moving from driver to iron. So let's have a look at the setup. Like with the driver, we're going to put our feet together and then move accordingly. So front foot slightly away, back foot just that little bit more. You can see how it's not as wide as the driver because this club is a lot shorter. We're talking shoulder width apart. A really good way to find out if you're the perfect distance away from the golf ball. I say this with all my students. Those of you that watch these videos will know this. Get your golf club, drop it down. You want a couple of inches between your heels and the grip. With your driver, you want to be on your grip. It's the easiest way to find out if you're the right distance away from the golf ball. We have our stance correct, distance from the ball correct, ball position slightly forward of middle. I never like to see it back of middle on any club. This is a six iron, so it is slightly forward of middle. And then in terms of where the weight distribution is, we talked about with a driver, we're kind of behind the ball, lowering that shoulder. Not with the iron, we want to be more on top of it. We want to get more square on top, maybe feeling a little bit more weight into that front foot. That promotes that feeling of getting on top of the golf ball at impact rather than trying to create a launch angle. That way, we're going to create one this way. Best feeling I can have with irons is trying to get those hands over the front foot and the front thigh at impact. So that front thigh there, see that shaft lean? That's something that we really want to promote with an iron not so much with a driver. Get onto that left foot, stay on that left foot. And if you are struggling with strike, feeling like you're hitting punch shots is one of the best things you can do with an iron. That curtailed follow through, concentrating on the strike this way. Now with irons, cause you're off the ground. The part of impact, oh, so important. Your swing arc, the bottom of the swing arc is actually after the ball. It's not before the ball, it's not at the ball, it's after the ball. We need to feel like we are moving that club towards the target, getting enter in the ground at the ball at least, if not after it. That is such a key thing with irons. So here's a tip, if you are fat in the ball, this one is going to be great for you. So grab yourself an alignment stick. This is going to be an awareness stick of where you need to enter the ground. So I'm going to put it at the golf ball. That's where it needs to be, right? Well, if you fatten it, the chances are you're hitting a couple of inches behind. So your arc is way out. The bottom of your arc is maybe three or four inches out. So we're going to exaggerate things. We're going to move that alignment stick actually in front of the golf ball. So you're going to feel like you're actually making contact after the ball with the ground. I even want you to look at the front of the golf ball because we have got to somehow move this swing arc a couple of inches further forward and get that attack angle down. Get yourself moving onto that front foot and getting through to the target. I can feel myself moving towards the target, trying to pull that club towards the target, shallow it out rather than get it stuck behind the ball. So there's the difference between the driver and the iron. The setup, the feels, the impact, I think are so critical about where your weight's distributed and how you launch it. As I say, driver is very much a launch action and iron is really like beat yourself down into the back of the golf ball and get it fizzing through the air. So two different thought processes there for you to take away with and work on the driving range with. It's always good to do it on grass if you can, because then you can actually see those divot patterns. But driver and irons, different swing ideas may look the same in rhythm, but your thought process needs to change, especially around impact. Mm -hmm.